Today's lesson, I'm at Westlake Elementary, fourth grade, Miss Escobar's room, and we've been studying about natural resources. And our natural resources is something from the earth that we need. In her class, they've done an excellent job. You see, what they did was they looked at all natural resources, and some of them are renewable. That means they can be used again. For example, plants, you can get the seeds and replant. Air, soil, animals like chickens and cows can be raised and we can have more of those. That's why it's a renewable. Water, renewable. It can be filtered, it can be used again, and trees. All of those are renewable natural resources. But we also studied some non-renewable. For example, fossil fuels, oil, coal, and natural gas take millions of years to form, can be used once, transferred their energies, and then it's done. So let's take a closer look at these. Hey, my name is Trenton, and I'm going to talk about the renewable resources. Um, you can reuse the re you can reuse renewable resources as in corns, chicken, water, trees, and wind. <clears throat> in fact, a resource that can be replenished it's replenish itself naturally over time. <clears throat> Resource. That's a renewable resource. Now we have some non-renewable resources. Hi, my name is Layla, and I'm going to talk about a non-renewable resource. A non-renewable resource is a resource that cannot be reduced, such as coal, oil, nuclear, gems, and a bunch of other things. Like natural? Yeah. Natural gas. Yeah. Okay, let's take a look at some of these non-renewable a resource that cannot be replaced if it's used up and they've done a really good job with some of these and then here are some renewable resources it's organic it's natural and it can be replaced in a short amount of time so we have two types of natural resources okay so let's look at some of these things close up and so a non-renewable well Wood, is that renewable or non-renewable? Renewable. Renewable, because we can um, replant this. But you can burn this, and it gives off heat and, and steam and light. No, heat and light. Uh, maybe if you boil water, you can make steam. Yeah. <laughs> and then this is actually a piece of uh, um, coal. coal, and it is non-renewable. Coal used to be... A swamp. What? What it used to be? A swamp that that used to be there over time, but then had so much pressure that over the years mm -hmm. it turned into coal. Yeah. In fact, if you look at this, this coal started off energy from the sun came down, right? And then there was that energy came down, and a long, long time ago there was this swamp, and the swamp had all these trees growing right here. Okay, you got that? So they got these trees growing. Okay. And it was quite different. So this was a swamp that grew because of the sun's energy. That energy got transformed into these trees. These trees died and were covered. But then we have lots more layers of mud and shale and sandstone and whatnot. And so soil up at the top, the top soil. But now there's also layers underneath here. So this is the layer of coal. Got that? And it was 400 years million ago. years ago. ago. Where's the old stuff in this drawing? Down um, below the, the coal and the coal. Yeah, and the coal. Where's the new stuff? Up, 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 Usually up, 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 up. at the okay. top. So yeah. here is a non-renewable. It's non-renewable for a couple reasons. One, it was formed millions of years ago, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Two, it was deep underground. To get to this coal, they had to remove hundreds had, of... Yeah, you had to do like thousands and... Thousands of feet down. Maybe not thousands, but probably hundreds. Hundreds of for sure. And so what they do is they would dig down, like we can make a ramp here and dig all this away. And that's called a coal mine or a strip pit. And so let's take that all away. And so now we have the layer of coal and we can get to it. So this is dug up, right? 
and it's taken by train to Indianapolis. When it gets to Indianapolis, they have a big blast furnace. It's made into powder, so this is made into powder, and inside of here, it's on fire, and that's a giant, giant blast furnace. But then they bring in water. And they dump it, and it makes like a whistling teapot. Sound. Yeah, you know, actually, they bring, so we got, so we got coal, and we bring in water, here's the water, and then that is turned into steam. steam. Right? So we have coal and water to make steam. Now, before that steam escapes out of the chimney, along with pollution and such, they try to clean that, but it's real hard to clean, almost impossible to clean. When you burn this, it's almost impossible to clean, but you can get energy. And if they can turn inside of here, if this steam can turn like a turbine, blades, spin it, this is what we can do. We can spin wire inside of a magnet, and we can transform that and generate it into electricity. Kind of cool, huh? Does that ever get hot if you do it too long? If you do it hot enough, some of it's wasted as heat. So you want a light that gets light but doesn't give off heat. There are certain lights like that. So here's the thing. So coal, coal can be crushed and burned, but once it's burned, it's a chemical and, reaction. And it also leaves a whole bunch of ashes behind. It leaves ashes. It does give off heat, but it also gives off CO2. And carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide and poison gases. So that's to be clean. Now, there's other ways to make this spin. There's other ways to make this spin. One way in Indiana is we have built these. A wind turbine? Mm -hmm. It's a wind turbine. And what we do is, instead of burning coal, they put one of these generators inside of here. So when the wind blows, it blows? When the wind blows, it, goes it, that it turns right. these 100 foot long blades and it can actually move into and the wind. Wind energy. wind energy is transformed into electrical energy. So that's one way. So we can burn coal or we can use wind. But you know what? In some states, let me erase this. You won't believe. They don't in, use, in some they states, don't use it. They use water turbines. They use water turbines. But another name for that is hydro. hydro. So here's another. It's called hydro, H-Y, hydro, E-electric. If you need a better marker, I got one in my desk. Okay, thanks. Well, let's see. So for hydroelectric, we need a mountain, right? Mountains. Mm -hmm. We need some snow. We need a river. river because there's no. River. Does all no. mountains have snow on top? Uh, not, not that's all, a good question. Not all. Some, some do. Some don't. Most so of them. we have yeah. this snow up here. It melts. It turns. It goes down, and that's potential energy, right? Because mm -hmm. it's moving. Uh, well, it's, it's getting ready to move. Now it's kinetic energy because it's moving, and it fills up this lake, giant lake. Now, if we can build something on this lake, let's build a dam, mm -hmm. like the Hoover Dam, right? Mm -hmm. And so all this water melts, and it's using gravity to come down, okay? So it uses gravity to come down. So it's a lot of potential energy. Now, if I can make a hole right here, what's going to happen to that water? Most of that water is just going to start flying out. It's going to come flying out with a lot of force, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's Pretty much the enough time. force to knock down a, a house. Well, let's put in some blades, just like these blades right here, except for instead of turning it crank with a handle or with wind, we turn these blades with, with, water. with water. water. And it makes energy. It transforms yeah. into bzz, 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 electricity. Electric. And we call that energy. hydroelectric. Hydro now, there's other ways to do it, and so probably the best way, and this is what I want you guys to do, is if we have a sun, which uh, we have that every day, it's, it's renewable, right? Yeah. No sun, no life, and it shines down. And you know that kids are now, people are now finding ways to make things look like this. What are these things called? Um, sun plates? Or they look like sun plates, but we call them... Solar, solar system. power. Solar power. Solar power, yeah. No, that's good though. So now like there's special chemicals. So the sun hits that and it converts this 
and do a strategy. But here's the problem with this. What happens at night? There, there's, there's no, no sun, sun in there. So there's yeah. no, you can't use the solar yeah. there's no power. And what about when the wind doesn't blow? There's no electricity in electricity. that. What happens when you run out of coal? There's no, no, there's there's no, no thing to run the What if there's no through. water at the power plant? There's no electricity. Because you got to boil it, right? Yeah. Or even the hydroelectric dam. So all of those, if we combine these all together, we can come up with a reliable system. But you know what the secret to all this is? You guys need to find a way to make one of these really good. Wait, have they made, haven't they made a battery? Great. Yeah, they've made some batteries, but you need to make some really good no, batteries. Like, haven't they made like this moon thing that in the moon it'll like. People are trying all kinds of ideas. You could also do like somebody can get on a bike or you can yeah. make an animal run on the wheel. And then it can... <laughs> yeah, but it's not free. Even when I got on the bike, I got hungry. So you're <laughs> telling me that I could just sit here all day and turn this on so you'd have electricity? You could. Oh, yeah, you if could. You if I wanted to, but uh, not very efficient. But I tell you, if we can find better batteries, we can conserve energy. We can uh, transfer energy. In fact, here's one way to conserve energy. See this thing right here? This is a meter. You have these on your house or in your apartment, okay? This measures electricity in your house. Now, my daughter wanted an iPhone, and they're kind of expensive. I said, okay, Caroline, I'll buy you an iPhone, but first come outside. Went outside, and I showed her. This wheel was going. Every time that wheel goes around, that's more watts. We measure electrical power and energy in watts. W-A-T-T-S, Watts, mm -hmm. who was a scientist, it's named after James Watts, who studied energy. So I buy kilowatts from the power company. They burn coal, they boil water, they turn a turbine, send it through the wires to my house, they read my meter, and I have to pay them how much I use. Got it? Mm -hmm. Well, the cool thing about this is that my daughter, I showed her, she had all the lights on and all the radio and the TV on. This thing was going... So, I, so we turned off the stuff we didn't know need and we went back outside and the meter was going really slow. We are saving money. What's another word for saving, protecting, guarding, or using wisely? Um, Anybody? Like, what do you call that when you con, say? Con, converse, converse, conserve. Converse. Oh, I was close. Yeah, I was close. I was like, so converse. Con, con, conserving energy. Do so they, take a look at this. Yeah. Do they have one on every house? Every house, because you don't get it free, you have to pay for it. Here's one. This is a uranium. Someone mentioned nuclear. Here's another non-renewable resource. This is a model or a pellet of radioactive material that gets things really hot. You can use this, but it's kind of dangerous because it also has leftover materials that could hurt you and harm you if it's not used well. So there's ways to make electricity from coal, from oil, from natural gas, from turning, from animals, from water, from wind, from solar power, and from nuclear. But the best thing is not to waste it at all. Let's take a look at how much you use in this classroom. Okay, so we have a worksheet here, and on this worksheet, we're gonna talk about how much you use in your classroom. And this is like, I'm sure you have a VCR. Do you have a VCR in your room, guys? Yeah. Yes. Oh, about a phone charger? Yes. yes. Pencil That's sharpener? Yes. DVD? Yes. yes. LED lights? Yes. Uh, let's see. What about a desk computer? How many? Yes. yes. Three. 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 And laptops or Chromebooks? 20. 28. Oh, my goodness. And fluorescent lights? Quite no, a bit. We don't have uh, no, none. none. That's good because they use a lot of energy. So here's what we did. We calculated in this classroom an energy audit. And you can see that we had a VCR that uses 20 watts, we used it an hour. We had a phone charger, 10 watts, they use it for nine hours. Pencil sharpener, 70 watts for three hours. DVD, 22 watts, only for one hour. But the LEDs up in the lights, they only use 10 watts, you use them for eight hours, but you have 36 of them. So that comes to like 2,800 watts, wow. And if we look at our desk computers, we have three of those. That comes to 2,700 watts. I thought the laptops would be a lot. 50 watts times five hours each times 28, 
7,000 watts. And even our LCD projector, which is a big bulb, it uses 1,500 watts. We only use it for three hours. So it comes to about 17,000, right there, put your finger by it, 17,482 watts are used in this classroom. Then we usually pay about 10 cents a watt. So what we've learned in this room, it's about a dollar seventy-four a day in energy. Is there any way we could save even more money? What can we do in this room? Yes. So when we when we're not in the when we're not in the room, we can turn off what we don't need on. If Mrs. Square doesn't need anything. Yeah, if we don't need it, turn it off. What else could you do to save energy? Yes. Unplug like the computers or her computer charger or something like yeah, that. Yeah, if we're not using them, anything, how could we save maybe at home? What could you do at home? What could you change at home? Um, yes. Turn off all the lights off. Or not all of them in the dark, some but of them. some of the ones you're not okay. using, yeah. Is there anything we could switch out and change to make things even better? Yes. Instead of using the fluorescent, fluorescent lights, fluorescent light, we can change it to LED because the LED lights... You, Make you have to, like, it, make, it is less watts. Less watts. And you, there's a picture of an incandescent light that uses 60 watts and an LED light only that only uses 10, 10 watts. So those are a lot of things we can do to conserve energy and to save money. Good job, guys. There's a lot to learn about natural resources like... Like coal, wood, hydroelectric, wind turbine. Solar power, no killer, no electric meter, which all makes what? Electricity. <clears throat> and it's hard to make. So instead of wasting it, we want to make sure we save it, save it. Save it or protect it or use it wisely. We call that Con conservation. conservation. <laughs> Thanks, guys.